Oki Craftsman DYS 3500 finished. As you can see, it's got a bath. It looks a hundred times better than it did. This machine has been kept indoors its entire life. It's a 2008, so it's 13 years old. The guy took really, really good care of it and unfortunate circumstances came about. He had to move and then later on sell this machine. I did try and buy this machine a few months back, but he wasn't quite ready to sell it until now. So anyways, as you can see, it looks near perfect. There's only one flaw on the entire machine, and that's the chute cover. It's unfortunately, it has the uh, plug in it for mulching, and it's being cut. So I'm assuming this never had a chute cover to begin with. It had the mulch cover. He put gator blades on it, and most likely it was binding up underneath with the gator blades. So he cut a hole in it. That's the only flaw to this entire machine. The seat's perfect, the paint's perfect. There's no rust on this machine at all. If there is, it's probably on the exhaust and it's probably a tiny bit of surface rust, but nothing that you'd have to be concerned about. This machine is absolutely perfect. There's a fly on it right now, but it will go away. The engine's got a bath as well. This machine is just is just absolute my magnif mag magnificent. So under the hood got washed as well. A couple of the decals under the hood and the one under the seat is coming off a little wee bit, but it's nothing to be concerned about. The engine starts up, runs perfectly, no smoke. He did say if it sits for an extended period of time, you might get a little bit of smoke on startup, but they all pretty much do that, even the brand new ones. So that's nothing to be concerned about either. All the safety switches are working and I'm gonna show a trick in a later video on how to disable safety switches without unhooking this. Believe it or not, it's actually very simple on these machines. So as long as it does work out, I'm gonna definitely show it in a later video. There was a trailer hitch on it. The trailer hitch has been removed. I'm keeping that for myself. There's a small scuff right there. I'm really not going to worry about it. It's not rusting or nothing. I do have black paint, but really there's no need to deal with it. I did end up swapping the battery. It had an almost brand new battery in it. So I put this one here in. in. It's good. It will be fine for this machine. This machine has no uh, high draw items on it. There's no PTO. There's nothing on it. So... It does not need a large battery, it just needs a battery. That will be perfectly fine to start, start it up. Headlights were working earlier. I may have disconnected them by mistake, but I will double check them, make sure they do work. I know they did work, so. Anyways, that's uh, pretty much it. Also, all four tires on this are perfect. There's no tubes at all on this entire machine. Show you this side over here. The oil's clean, uh, the oil filter is new. Really, there's nothing that you can complain about on this machine except for that uh, uh, mulching plug. So, I definitely got a good deal on it. And I'm going to pass it on down the road as soon as it sells. So, anyways, this video will not come out until the machine is sold. I'll probably do a conclusion video on this machine if I remember. Or I'll just use my pictures from the ad. So, either or, there will be a conclusion to this video. And I will definitely be doing a video about regarding the safety switches if that ends up turning out. If I do it, unplug what I need to unplug and it doesn't turn out, obviously I won't post the video. But there we go. I will talk to them later. Please keep it red like always and uh, 
please subscribe and comment. And hopefully this will be my thumbnail. Bye for now.